so this is layout number two and in this particular layout there's an image at the bottom there's an image here so what i want to show you is how to add an image here plus this how to add this and the image because this <coughs> this is actually the same thing that we just did on this other layout so to continue with this layout let me open another uh, document which is here if i open this document you can see that this is the, the other one we did earlier now in this one we are going to add actually it's a continuation of this so if it's a continuation of this all you have to do is add a table and let's see if i come here and click on insert after that if i click on tables i can just add one two three yes so those are three uh three columns i just click okay click enter then i remove this after that i come here now from here all i have to do is reduce this reduce the size of this now in order to be precise you have to pull it until this one stops moving yes so where it stops moving then you move it a little and extend it so that is enough that's enough then you click on enter until you have enough space for yourself until you have enough space for yourself now after that you go ahead and and put the content so you see i need this space so i'm just going to copy this other content this same content i'll copy it here copy and then i paste it in this box so if i paste it in this box i'll just paste it using this other method paste because that i've pasted it and now there's free space here actually let me remove this let's assume that this space is is large is wide like this yes and then i want to fill this other part so i'll just copy this copy and then i paste it on here and paste it here after pasting i'll just move it a bit down click enter put the cursor there and click enter and you can see that now i have this space so i'll if you move this you'll see that the, the words will move so i adjust because that i've adjusted it until it's now fitting and then i pull back this one around here so i stretch it and i leave it there so i think that's okay because after stretching i can see that and i have a lot of space to play with now from here if you can look if you look at the original design if you look at the original design you can see that there's this orange thing here where i put some words so to to, to create that all you have to do is use another table so if i click here if i come here and i click inside here and i click on enter you see that the 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 cursor moves once after the cursor has moved once i go to home actually i'll go to insert after that you click on this thing which is tables click on it and then you insert one table like that yes insert that one table insert that one table after that the table has entered after that now you go ahead and click on this this small icon here click on it you have highlighted it then you go ahead and click on this you look for this thing that says plain table 2 so look for plain table 2 and click on it and then it will create for you a plain table inside there. and then you put the cursor here and click enter and the table will move now when the table has moved then you put your small heading you put your small heading and maybe say saucepan because the other one's an image of a saucepan let me say sauce saucepan hmm? so i've called it saucepan this is just an example you can call it whatever you want you put the heading a small heading for the image that you want to put so you can center line it then increase the size the way you want then increasing the size the way you want you highlight it inside then you go to home again and paint it so you click on this packet painting it's called what it's called shading so you shade it you click here and you give it orange color or any other color you want so I'll, me i'm giving it orange so i'll give it orange color after that i go ahead and change this one to white so go ahead and change the the text to white so as you can see the text now white and i click here now you can see that i have a heading inside here now from here i'll have to insert an image yes so to insert an image, you saw also that that image was an image of a saucepan. So all I have to do is just come here and click on insert, and click on shapes, pick a shape here, and then draw the shape around here. I'll draw that shape here inside. So as you can see, I've drawn the shape. Now after that, I go ahead and double tap inside. Double tap inside, you can see. Then go ahead and click on shape outline, shape fill, and click on picture, and go ahead and find the picture. Oh, in the picture, I think it's in downloads. Uh huh. As you can see, it's here. Now there are two things you have to know about this this image. This image first, the image has to have a white background, completely white. Yes. The second, if if you don't want to use an image with a completely white background then you can use an image uh which is uh an image without a background with plain background no background remove the background using remove pg so me i'm using the one with the white background so it can blend inside this uh inside the document so i'll just click on it and i click on insert and then it will enter here from there i go ahead and click on picture format go to crop and then click on fill you can see that it has filled then i can move it the way i want adjust it uh, it's too big so i'll just reduce the size yes reduce it to around there and then i move it in the middle here yes i think it's now balanced and i can leave it there i click anywhere and you can see that the image is now in now since the image has entered i still have this thing which is the border 
but i don't want the border so i'll just double click on this after that you go ahead to shape outline click on this and then click on no outline yes click on this and you can see that there's now no outline inside this yes now i cannot leave this bottom empty so let me first move this back i put the cursor here at the last every time you want to move a table back from the next page you put the cursor at the last page and then click on backspace very many times click on backspace until it reaches the point you want where you want it to be so i keep on clicking backspace until it reaches the point where i want it to be which is around there now from here all i have to do is click on it now click on here click here and find this so i want to add another line so i've added another line after that i shade this line orange yes because i've already started shading lines orange so i'll just shade this orange to give it another feel so as you can see now i have my complete page which is this from this now i've come to this yes so now i have two pages and that's how you do you insert an image within this page yes so this image would even be better if it had no background yes let's try it without a background so if it has no background let me first remove the background go to remove bg yeah. so i've removed i have an image whose background is removed so i want to try it here to exchange with this one so all i have to do is double click double click here picture format click on picture format then click on change picture here click on it and click on this device click on this and then let it open and then you can see this image which has no background it's the same image but no background so if i click on this then i click on insert you're going to see what is going to happen so it has come here and then i can click on crop here and then click on fill to fill it and reduce the size to the size i want so the size is here which can fit inside here after here now I move it until it is now there and then I click anywhere. You can see that it has no background now. If I double click on it and then this will appear. Now from here I go ahead and click on shape effects here and I give it a shadow. I make it see. So if I give it a shadow like that one then I can either give it that or a shadow like this. And then by this one is better so I'll give it this shadow. Yes. So I can give it a shadow like that and it looks like it's now sitting on the page. And that is how you add an image in this kind of area. Now if I go ahead and I remove this this bar this border if i click here and remove this border you're going to see what will happen so if i click no border click on no border you can see what has happened you can see the layout yes so this is the layout that uh we have done inside this page now that's uh, one of the layouts the next i'm going to show you the next layout in the next video